we should be live in a second here. Let me go over to the view page. <clears throat> let me know if you guys can see me and hear me all right. Also, I have some music playing in the background. I don't know, let me know if you guys can hear the music or if it's too loud or too low. Um, I've never played music in the background before and it's all like, if you hate the music, I'll turn it off because it's all basically like techno music from the same composer I normally use. And the only reason why is because YouTube is, YouTube is super strict when it comes to playing music. And so all of his stuff is royalty free, which is why um, I'm using it. But if it's too loud or you guys don't want it, I'll turn it off. Just let me know. What is going on, OZ Media? So today, what we've got going on is basically we're going to be printing something and hanging out. Um, as you can see on the stream, hey, what's up, Machop? Um, as you can see on the stream, we've got my new 3D printer here, and I printed something pretty cool with it. Dude, the dislike was before the live stream even went live, dude. So, um, so yeah, I've got this new. 3D printer in. I've already done a little bit of printing on it, but um, today we're going to take a look at it and start a print so that way it'll be printing during the stream and we'll be just kind of chilling. Like, um, I don't really have anything. I should probably move the camera. Um, I don't really have anything like set in stone. I'm just kind of going to chill today. Um, believe it or not, I still have this stupid, I don't call it stupid, but I did. Um, I have the Tron CX3 still chilling right here on my desk. I have not touched it since the last stream. Um, and so it's, it's like all assembled. I just need to do some, um, I guess maintenance or fine tuning on it to get it to actually print correctly. Cause it was printing like crap when I first tried right after building it. Um, but yeah, this Delta, it came in the mail. Um, let me know, Hey, much up. Can you hear the music playing in the background or no? Cause if you guys can't hear it, I'm going to make it a little louder because I'm the one that's hearing it. So it's weird for me to hear it if you guys can't hear it. Um, but yeah, so I was contacted by Dagoma a couple weeks back and I had never even heard of the company before or the printer and I took a look at it and was like, man, this thing looks pretty cool. And it's, it's definitely not like any of the machines that I've had in. And sure enough, um, this last week it showed up and it was such a different experience compared to, you know, the kit printers that I really have in slightly but it's fine with me okay cool because that's what i want i want it to be just kind of like low but there um and yeah it was just like such a different experience i mean literally took it out of the box no screws no bag of screws or anything set it on the table plugged in the arms and then it was essentially ready to go which is crazy yeah too i don't like when music is too loud i just wanted something kind of like ever so slightly in the background um, so I'll show you guys this. I actually did a um, time lapse of this and I kind of goofed on it, but it still turned out awesome. <clears throat> so this is the first print that I've done on this machine. So hopefully you guys can see it. It's it's Hellboy and this is just completely the printer right out of the box. Um, self auto calibration and hit print. Um, I did screw up on this though because I was kind of in a hurry and I started printing this at like uh, 1130 at night and I didn't realize that the model actually needed supports um, so the, the hair on the back is totally screwed up it was supposed to have supports leading up to it um, but that wasn't the printer's fault that was totally my fault but this thing turned out just like insanely good um, it was a 0.2 layer height um, the only things is there was a little bit of stringing um, and a little bit of bridging on a couple spots. Um, this machine's just a PLA machine and it only has one fan, which is for the extruder. So uh, we'll see once it releases, if somebody comes out with a mod to upgrade the cooling on it for the layer fan. Um, I think that the extruder fan, the way I have it set up is that it's supposed to kind of cool the layers, but um, it didn't quite do, it, it did a good job, but it could have done a little better of a job. Um, so also I think once uh, I'm just using their little simple interface um, um, Kira that they like, I'll show you guys here right now actually um, but it doesn't have any options for like retraction or anything like that so I think once I do a little bit of tweaking on the retraction settings it'll get rid of the stringing but hopefully you guys can see that right again I'm gonna do a time lapse of it and a full video on it and I'll do close-ups with like my actual you know good camera so you guys can see it but it, it turned out the details on on the face are pretty freaking killer it was a pretty long print though, believe it or not. This was like a, uh, this was like an eight hour print. Um, 
again there's software i'll show you guys it one more time or i didn't show it to you but i'll show it to you real quick um hey what's up tech nerd how you doing man happy sunday to you guys thanks for all you know stopping by for a bit here so let's go ahead and take a look oh mod shop thank you so much dude for the donation hopefully i set up um I set up Twitch alerts or like YouTube stream alerts. So hopefully it'll pop up here in a second. It's supposed to be working. Oh, it did work. <laughs> Sick. Awesome, dude. Hopefully it'll pop up on your guys' end in a second here. Thank you very much, Mod Shop. As always, I really appreciate it, man. Oh no, your trash can failed, Tech Nerd. What happened, dude? It was looking so good. Let's see if it pops up on your guys' end here. Oh yeah, it did it. Sick. That's so cool. I, I saw this the other day and I was like, what? I didn't realize that they had made it for YouTube. So I finally added it and I think that it's sweet. Like I'm enjoying streaming on YouTube so much more now that I can add all these little like bells and whistles and things like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, man. And then hopefully, let's see if it'll pop up under the recent donation thing. It's supposed to maybe that only maybe that won't do it for super chat maybe it only do it for like the actual um donation through stream labs or whatever <sighs> well the power went out no no is it even can you use it kind of like can you try to make it sort of work um okay let me show you guys this real quick here um Ooh, I have it on the wrong side. Let me say it. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. But so this is the software. It isn't beta, um, but this is the only software that uh, is currently available for this machine. Although again, they said that you can use it with your current slicer. I just wasn't able to get it to work with Repetier. Um, I did email the guy last night, and basically I asked him for. Um, like the settings because I don't know if just my baud rate wasn't correct or what the deal is but it's called Cura by Degoma Neva version 1.0.5 so as you can see it has like the 3d model of the bed um, and I mean it's it's nice looking it's it's clean but it's just the interface look at the settings um, so you've got like some PLA options which I don't use any of these so I did my own version and then you choose your nozzle temperature which I did 210 which could have been too hot. I probably could have done 205 or maybe 200. Um, and then your infill density, you've only got three options. You've got hollow, 17 or 33. And um, those are kind of random <laughs> numbers. Um, normally I print at 20% is like my standard. And then, you know, depending on what I'm printing, sometimes I'll do even 100 um, for a few things that I print that are pretty thin that I don't want any, um, you know, infill. Um, uh, and then you've got your layer thickness, which is 0 0.2, 0 0.15, and 0 0.1, and then flexible filaments, uh, which that'll be interesting to try and see how that works on the Delta machine. Um, but yeah, even these are like, I'd like to have 0.3. I print, believe it or not, in 0.3 a lot. Um, and let's see. And then, okay, so improve the adhesion surface. I wasn't sure what that did. It basically added, can I zoom in? Yeah. Um, it added like a is it called the skirt? I think that's what it's called. I, I don't really ever use it, but it added that. And um, it actually, it was insanely easy to get off. Um, so I will, I will say though, like, again, although this is way too simple for someone like me in terms of the settings I want, it does work really well. And their um, like skirt setting thing, um, it's, it's extremely nice. Uh, let me see. Let's see what happens if we click that. I'm curious to see the supports, how it's going to generate them. See, that's I screwed up. I didn't even look at the back, and I was like, oh, no. It started printing. It was like an hour and a half in, and I started to see, like, I, I was kind of doing stuff, and I saw that this whole area was looking screwed up, and I was like, no. But you still can see all the details in the face, which is cool. <clears throat> but, yeah, I was definitely was kind of bummed on that. Uh, let me move over the stream to the side so I can see you guys' chats. Um, man, I'm sorry to hear that, um, Tech Nerd, that sucks, dude, that's such a long print, that, that's kind of like a nightmare of mine, which is why I really don't like to print more than 12 hours or so, how come it didn't generate, that's weird, didn't generate supports, try this one, let's 
kind of weird. Um, it's nice looking printer has some decent features. Yeah, dude. And honestly, um, the retail price is two fifty. That's super cheap for a printer that's ready to rock and roll. Um, I know that there's like you've got the CR10, what everyone's super hyped on right now, and it does have a lot bigger of a build area. Um, but I still think that this is definitely more beginner friendly um, than the other one, because the uh, CR10 I heard still has some assembly. Um, well, this literally has none. Um, anyone here interested in a mono price select plus? I want to sell mine. Yeah, I forgot. You said you weren't having good luck with yours, man. Um, I sold my mini actually. Um, I posted on Twitter. It was kind of funny. This machine, no, dude. I think it's two fifty, man. I, I, if I said that in the video, I think I said wrong. Let me um. One second. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on with the supports. It's not creating them, so I don't know if it's just this model thing or if the software is glitching. So that's something that's got to be fixed. It did say this was in its beta form, though, so it's not, you know. Um, am I spelling it wrong? Did I spell it wrong? Oh, Dagoma, Dagoma, Neva. Um, hey, what's up, Happy Extruder? Uh, Dagoma, nope, not France, Kickstarter. See, the reason why I thought it was more expensive is because I saw 349 and 499 but then the other day I went down here to the ones that were sold out, and look, 249 it says earliest bird, and that's for the complete printer. So they had a 249 and 299 and I think if you go on uh, Dagoma.us, I think it says 250 man. See, there's like a pop-up usually that comes up. Oh, it doesn't say the price. I saw a 250 somewhere else too. I, I think it's retailing at 250, man. And if that's the case, then I'm even a bigger fan because that's insanely cheap. Why don't you the Kickstarter that I read 39? Might have been wrong though. Yeah, see, it's because the other ones are sold out so you can't really see them. Hey, what's up, Matthew? I baked it what do you mean you baked it so let me go ahead and um, let me turn off this real quick because we're going to okay just scratch my nose because it's a cheat we're gonna recalibrate it because apparently when I first got this printer um, it had like a little bit of uh, like a test print it was super flat just like the letter a and a circle on it um, but the company emailed me after seeing my video yesterday and saw that I calibrated it with that on there and they said to recalibrate it just in case. It, it doesn't seem like it actually affected anything, but we'll do that just so you guys can see it calibrating too. It only it takes literally like three minutes to calibrate the first time and then, then after that it's just a uh, quick auto level. So we'll do that real quick, one sec. Whew. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me try to like, I know the mic's gain is not very high because there's dogs and babies and stuff. Hopefully you can see it without my butt, let's see. Kind of. Okay, so <laughs> we'll try to do as much as I can. You're probably just gonna see most of my, my, my backside, but you just press the button on the front and plug it in. And find there, and it'll start moving. So it should start moving. Oh, wait, did I unplug it? I think I unplugged it. Hold on, guys. I don't really have a lot of room here. I unplugged it. We're gonna try this again. <laughs> it's like a freaking, like a war zone. <sighs> Let's see. Oops. <sighs> God, it'd be so nice to have a more legit setup in here. Okay, so power should be plugged in now. Yeah, so it's gonna home. All right, so let's do this one more time. So again, when you first get it, you literally hold down the home button, or the one button on here, plug it in, it'll start moving, and then you release. And now it's gonna go ahead and calibrate. Ugh. Like so. 
Yeah, and it's like it's like a three minute process almost exactly. Just goes around and probes a bunch of spots on the bed. It's crazy though, you can't even when I was looking at the extruder, I don't even see where the probe or the sensor is in there. And it's definitely a it's a sensor. It's not like in a like there's no physical clicking or anything touching. Let's see. Hey, what's up, Gold? See, you can take a look at the supports by changing the view mode by layers, and you will see the support. Okay, let's try that. Oops. Where is... Uh... Oh, layers? Oh, cool. Okay. All right, let me show you guys that. Thank you for that, Matthew. I feel like Matthew, Matthew, you must be from Dagoma. <laughs> Thank you for showing me that. That's very useful. Okay, so now let's. I'll show you guys that too, so you can see it. All right. So one more time. Let's share the right side. Okay. So he was saying that if you switch the view by clicking this to layer view it'll show you in blue the supports and it's only doing all these supports because I changed it now let's go to just sides so touching the plate now it should just do the supports like we want maybe doesn't look like oh no it did it's generating them still cool so then it would just do this would have been how we wanted it okay so that works relatively easily that's kind of a cool cool view hey um since i have you here um hey since i have you here matthew um do you know what the baud rate is for this machine like um i want to connect it to repetitor host which is primarily what I use, um, or even like Octoprint, because I plan on making this thing wireless. And when I uh, initially connected it, printer settings, obviously, oh, the settings aren't correct anymore. Um, but I had the baud rate set to 250,000, and um, it seemed like it was working okay. But then after a couple layers, it it like froze and then in my console I was getting errors like uh, communication errors and after like kind of researching the errors it looked like it had something to do with the baud rate and so I tried 250k uh, and then I believe I tried 115200 which I think are the most common uh, looks industrial yeah it does look industrial it's a it's a like I was saying man like for this is for me, a game changer for what a two hundred fifty dollar machine can do, you know. Um, uh, much up. So you found two fifty. Let me know. I'm interested in picking one up. Okay, I think honestly, since the Kickstarter, um, since the Kickstarter is pretty much done, I feel like you're probably gonna have to wait until they're available. Um, until they are available for like regular retail. Um, pre sales. Mm. Yeah, I could try to find out more details. I mean, Matthew's here from Dagoma, so I don't know if he'll be able to answer that too. Those are the two things I'm really interested in finding out is one, the baud rate for this machine, and two, um, when you guys will have, you know, like the regular units ready. going crazy anyways so while we're waiting um, do you guys want to find something to print on this they were pretty awesome and sent me some some filament and like I said I printed this Hellboy out but I've still got I can at least print out something this size with the red and then I've got um, a spool of green they sent me too so it'd be kind of cool to try the um, easy filament ex uh, 
swap out feature so that way we can print something like halfway one color and swap it out and do a different color um it'd be really useful since i'm going to be reviewing this so i don't know if you guys like um mod shop or happy extruder or um tech nerd or anybody wants to find a model we can do it print my vape does this printer have a heated bed um it does not have a heated bed and i made a if you want to take a look i did kind of like a preface um for those of you that don't know i haven't even made a youtube video on it i've been running a website for oops for quite a while um literally i update it as often as i do my youtube channel if not more often um you guys if you wanted to subscribe to the like little if you put your email in here then you'll get an email every time um, I post something new, but I post on here literally all the time, every couple of days. Um, and I did this article, which is pretty much, it has like the video, um, but it also has some more details and extra photos and things like that, that I didn't include. Um, if you want to take a look at this, this kind of goes through all the details on it and some of my initial thoughts and things like that. Trash can. <laughs> Print my big trash can. You have to swap the full amount on it. I'm down to do the vape, but I feel like for this video, I kind of want to stress test it a little bit. I feel like the Maker's Muse, the Latisse would be, or Lattice. Latisse? Lattice. We'll say Lattice. Would be a better option. Let's check out, let's see if I can find that. Uh, <sighs> All right, we'll, we'll try out the, the lattice cube then. Cube. Is there a specific one? Is this his? Uh, do you want to send me a link to um, the one that Maker's Muse made? Yeah, this should be a pretty interesting print to see how it turns out. I think it'll come up right. Did you see it? I didn't see it. At least I don't see it, so it's Maker's Muse. Let me um, see if he's got a link. Maker's Muse, most challenging 3D print. He doesn't have it on his. Okay, he'll buy it. Okay, we'll, we'll do this one then. All right, let's see. So, okay, this one's based on his. So maybe he doesn't have his release. Huh, that's strange. I thought the whole point of it was to test your machine. I didn't, I didn't realize it was like a sale thing. All right, so let's do a new folder, Lattice Cube, bam. And then we'll go ahead and import it. Uh, <laughs> so there's a bunch of them. That is cute. Let's just do the regular one. Oh, snap. 
Can we get rid of this guy? How do we center it? Uh, crap, let's say it one more time. Uh, la, la, la. Okay, so now it's in the center. Is that standard size? That looks. Okay, no worries. I didn't know that. I just. I'd seen people printing them, so I just assumed again that it was something that he was just releasing. Okay, so what do you think we should do for settings? We'll do 205. I think 210 was a little too hot. Um, what do you guys think? 17 or 33? I feel like 17 is probably fine, but... And then what do you guys want to do for the, um, the quality? I printed this guy out in point two. We can try 0.15. I feel like it might take a long time. Um, oh, it's still, it's like slicing still. I think, unless it froze. To? Okay, we'll do that then. If it loads, maybe I should close it and open it just to just to see. Let's so yeah, let's try reopening this. So it's called Goma. <clears throat> let's try it one more time. All right, so import you. Don't freeze on me. Okay, this time it looks like it's working better. Yeah. Six hours? Shit balls, man. That's such a long time. Should we make it smaller? Yeah, you're limited to their infill and you can't change their retraction settings. So again, I, I understand what they're trying to do. like. This, if like a beginner were to see this, this doesn't look overwhelming. You know, it's not like a button here, import, a button here, and like some, just a couple settings. I was told by them that you can use your own um, slicers and you can use your own uh, software. And so, but um, I've had issues like um, I don't know what the baud rate is and I tried uh, 250,000 and that one worked sort of and after I started printing it was getting communication errors and then I tried the 115200 and it wasn't working at all it just wouldn't communicate at all with it so I don't know if I'm doing that incorrectly they haven't I, I haven't been able to find out what the baud rate is on this machine um, and then I tried just creating my own G code and slicing it but with this machine the button on the front only registers when you use like uh, it outputs it in like a dot G instead of G code. I'll show you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to scale it down. Yeah, let me show you guys like, um, shit, I don't have enough. It's gonna unplug my headphones. Unplug this for a sec. Did that screw up the stream? No. Okay, so I plugged in this. Hopefully it'll pop up here. Maybe. I need more USB ports. There we go. Okay, so yeah, this is how it reads it. What the fudge? Uh, F. So it's dot G. Um, I don't know I've never heard of dot G before so I don't know if that's something that they created or whether it's just another way of saving a G code or I, I'm really not sure um, but when I try to save something from Repetier to my slicer um, it wouldn't print by pressing the button so yeah I don't I don't really know I, I got those are some questions that I need answered uh, because I plan on I want to use this with Octoprint and I want to use it with my slicer. Those are like two pretty 
crucial things. Like, they've done so many good things, but those are things that they need to do. Oh, I'm stupid. Why did I do that? Okay, let's scale it down. Um, scale. What are we thinking? Like, oh, that is pretty large. That's why. Let's just do what? Like, 0 0.5? How long is that going to take? <clears throat> Yeah, let's do that. It's a two hour print, but that's definitely much more uh, realistic of a time frame. Okay, USB is not recognized. Perfect. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, close. <clears throat> Prepare to print. Save in, okay. Cool, so it basically just overrides whatever was there. All right, so let's, um, ain't nothing but a cheat there. <laughs> All right, so I can't hear music now. <clears throat> Oh, okay, I can hear it now. Okay, so to to print again, you just pop it in the front and press the button, and there we go. Then it goes ahead and heats up the extruder, auto levels, or it doesn't auto level the bed, but it calibrates so it knows how it needs to move, and then it starts printing. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah, I mean, um, again, this isn't beta, it said, their Kira's thing. Um, I think I'll probably email the company um, and tell them what I think, whether they they listen or not. Oh, let me let me show you guys. I'm st stupid. You guys want to see the printer, I'm sure. Let's do this thing. So the things I would like to see is um, for this software, I would like a tab that says advanced options. Um, you know, for those that don't just want one, two, three, four settings, that gives you all of the um, features that you're all the, you know the settings that you would want. So you know, retraction, a slider for the infill, so you can choose between one to one hundred percent. Layer quality, you should be able to enter that. Um, those are definitely, definitely, definitely things that need to happen. And then again, also they should. The baud rate should be somewhere. I googled and couldn't find anywhere. Um, again, the company is French, um, and so a lot of the stuff that I found was in French, um, but I couldn't find the baud rate for it anywhere, which sucked. I would have to hack this with a display. I say I don't actually use displays on any of my machines because they're like the machines that I actually use not just you know get rid of or build and have sit they're all hooked up through Octoprint so I just control them with this I never use a display on any of them so for me it's not really a big deal but I can see I guess if I didn't have Octoprint how I'd want displays would be you know coming in handy Oh no, dude! The guy I bought it from has a ton of them. No clue where he got them, but he offered to replace it. Damn. That sucks, dude. Did it came damaged through shipping then? Just got my TiVo smoothie board for Little Monster rebuild for the. F oh man, rebuild for the fifth time. Rebuild it for the fifth time because it needed it, or rebuild for the fifth time just because you want to keep upgrading it? Because that sounds, that doesn't sound so good. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do think, um, I think on the hardware, they nailed it. Again, for the heated bed, I understand like that in itself will be a huge turnoff for uh, a demographic of people because they're not gonna just wanna print in PLA. For someone like me, 
it's fine because I print 99% in PLA out of all my spools I have like 25 spools or so I have one that's uh oh well, one that's like a flexible non-PLA and one that's an ABS other than that I only print PLA I print too much to print with other stuff I don't have good ventilation in here or anything like that so I don't like using ABS which gives off a lot of fumes but um yeah honestly I'm really happy with the setup and the hardware how well it, and smoothly it's been working um again I just think the software needs some definite yeah, improvements um yeah horribly packaged a piece oh that sucks dude why would someone I mean I guess you did get it for cheap but it's still like I make sure I ship everything super nicely <laughs> on uh eBay because I don't want to lose money you know like it's such a waste so it is off printing. If you guys want, I can um, move the camera closer to it. You guys probably won't be able to see it. Um, nightmare, stay away from the little monster. No way, dude. What, what kind of issues have you had? I know you just said you're replacing the board, but what other stuff? Because that machine is actually one that I had heard so much good about you know for how large scale the thing is and how quickly it can print i just watched a video from that rc i can't think of his name but the rc maker channel um and he was like you know bragging bragging the machine up sorry to hear that sucks though because it's not that cheap of a machine right it's like five or six hundred bucks and your cr10 has been printing like rocky balboa i need to get my hands on a cr10 man I don't even print anything that big, but just the hype. The hype is real, and it's it's such a large, you know, such a large scale printer that is so easy to set up from what I'm seeing here. Yeah, let's see if I can. Um, oh my nose! Let's see if I can get it closer for you guys so we can kind of watch it. Uh, this this um. Oh my head stuck. Um. The webcam I'm using for the 3D printer is not the greatest, so we'll see how... It doesn't even have autofocus, it has like fixed focus, so we'll see if I can get it in a range where it looks decent. Let's see. I'm gonna have to drop it down so we can see it from the side angle properly. Sorry, you guys are all gonna be moved right now. <laughs> Incoming motion sickness. One one thing that's really cool too that I didn't I didn't say this in my initial well I couldn't really because I hadn't printed yet was um it is a very very quiet machine it is by far the most quiet machine I've personally used is that better kind of I mean I know it's again not great. Hopefully once it gets a little taller, we'll be able to see. Ideally, I'll get a better setup one day, guys, but it's kind of working with what I got right now. Uh, God. Cables, I swear. I love these headphones. I feel like they're ones I bought for my brother that I were really cheap on Amazon, but they're the most comfortable pair I've ever owned and the sounds good and just getting used to having a cable again um I agree with happy shooter stay away from TiVo in general my black widow was broken from December just done 16 to six months ago and uh, TiVo was a little help it's hit or miss on the quality control my wires were wired backwards on the limit switches and the other touch was wired same pair is crazy quality control issues if you see my little monster in action, I'll remind you of the movie The Exorcist. <laughs> oh no. Okay, cool. As long as that works for you guys. It does do 720p, it's just again, the um, the white balance is pretty shitty and the 
not I didn't know it didn't have autofocus. Like in this day and age, I was like, what? No autofocus. So I had to like pop the cap off and manually focus it at one point to get it to work. But I suppose it's better than nothing. <clears throat> RC Life on gets these printers. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know if you have French Blue and it's been good, reliable machine. I've heard, see the thing is though, everyone's experience is different, because I mean, I, I've i heard from people that have had terrible issues with their NA8, and mine is, granted, not stock at all. It's been running beautifully and printing amazingly uh, since I got it set up. Yeah, RC Lifon definitely gets his printers for free, but I mean, even I get printers sponsored, like, I mean, the X3 was sponsored, the... Um, this machine here is sponsored, but if I thought a machine was no good, I would tell them or not make a video on it or, t you know, say in my video. Um, there was actually a 3D printer that I got from a company maybe six months ago or so, and the thing was such a piece of shit. Um, they told me that it had been an open box machine, and so, you know, they said that, like, they kind of made it seem like the guy bought it and just couldn't get it set up, and, um... So, you know, they're like, you have a problem receiving an open box machine? I said, I don't care at all. But I got the machine in, and it was just, like, one problem after another. And I told the company, I was like, hey, I, I cannot make a video on this machine. I just, I have nothing good to say about it, and it has been a terrible experience. So I just, I didn't make the video. <sighs> so, I mean, just because you're getting a free machine doesn't mean that your review on it can't be honest. I, I've never taken a review and told the company that, you know... Um, I'm going to say only good things about it or you know I, uh, most companies will ask you to at least tell them if you're having an issue with it they'll try to walk you through it but I feel like if you're lying about machines that you're getting or you know any channel really then you're going to lose your credibility so I wouldn't do that um, Relief gets the Relief gets the triple check machine before it leaves TiVo but TiVo got the slogan right, no machine is perfect if they ship it. Yeah, this is a test print. Well, I actually did, I showed this a minute ago. I printed this out um, the other night. I'm actually making a video on it. It'll be like, uh, this is truly the first print, and uh, it's Hellboy's face, and it, it turned out insanely good. This is just right after calibration. I screwed up, though. I didn't print supports, so he's got a man bun. It, uh, you can't, yeah, you can see it. It's jacked up. Um, there were supposed to be supports for his hair, so... Not the machine's fault, totally my fault. It was late night when I did it, but the quality turned out pretty insane. Um, I, I can't be upset. It's as good as any machine. I mean, it's beautiful. It, it turned out really, really good, so. Um, hey, what's up, Energy Strike? Um, I have my DaVinci. It is on the ground over here. I'll show you guys. Currently, it's a, it's a drink holder. <laughs> See inside the bed? It's got a cup on it. I use it to hold like my wallet and my keys. It's like a, it's like a, um, a coffee table essentially. Um, it's down right now. the The hot end went out on it, and so I bought a uh, E3D style hot end that I meant to put in there. Um, but the whole thing it needs to be rewired again. I'm not sure if the board, the um, Ramps Arduino board, is even good in there anymore. So, ideally, I want to rewire it, put in the E3D clone hot end, and sell the thing for like 250, 300 bucks. Um, it's just every time I look at it, I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to work on it. <laughs> I just, I look at it, and I'm like, oh, it's such an involved project. Like, you know, and the Da Vinci's, it's not, it's not a really easy machine to work on in a sense since it's so enclosed. Normally, like, it, first step it involves me ripping off all the plastic on the outside, and you got to stick your arm through the metal, sheet metal to get, I don't know. It's just not a real fun project to troubleshoot. Compared to something like, you know, an i3 machine, which it's all open, open, uh, it's all open. <laughs> so it's a lot easier to, you know, get your hands around things and swap out parts uh, a lot quicker. Oh, that Dr. Pepper got warm way too quick. I'm still debating on my second printer. Uh, I think I will go with the Creality Share 10, but kind of want a Delta style printer. You cannot go wrong with that CR10 from everything I've been hearing, man. It's just a phenomenal printer. Um, uh, I'm just in. Deltas are really cool, too. I mean, I'm a huge... Oh! 
Did we see that? Did you guys see that? It shifted. <laughs> I'm like reading comments trying to catch up. That was definitely a failed print. That's no good. All right, let's um, let's pause it. Hmm. Seems that the first layer was a bit um, like um, it seems like the first layer was a bit too far off. Like it's close to being perfect, but it it's not quite. Let's do okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's the game plan. We're going to we're gonna have it auto calibrate itself one last time because maybe the auto calibration threw it off a little bit when it when it did that. And then I'm going to take just like a cloth with some rubbing alcohol and wipe down that center portion. Since I did print the um, the um, Hellboy on there, I did see that they had recommended to clean it um, with rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to wipe it down and see if that helps with the adhesion too. So let's do that real quick here. I'm pretty bummed. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty bummed about that. I need to improve the adhesion. <laughs> yeah, well, they have like. They have a um, improved surface adhesion thing. I might click that as well to see if that makes a difference. Sorry, I, I didn't even get caught up on comments. Um, when can I. Where can I buy fake D3D heatsink with the genuine Bowden Coupler? I have no idea. I always just buy non-genuine on that stuff. Um, I have an NA8, but I am loving this hobby so far. The NA8 is, that's impressive that that was your first printer. Um, just like kind of like a ballsy purchase because they're not, you know, they're not really like, um, I, I wouldn't consider them beginner friendly unless, again, unless you've got some um, experience in terms of like electronic experience or you're just kind of a hands-on type person but now that you've learned from the NA8 any printer you get will probably be such a breeze there she goes failed R oh no <laughs> I got the printer it moved I'm getting this here 10 S5 I don't know what that even is I just need to improve the I can't justify the price for the extra volume. Oh, is that the um, is it the CR10 but like with the even bigger build volume? <sighs> Break out the super glue. <laughs> okay, and there it is. Most machines can do all the first layer. Uh, okay, there, there it is. Most machines can do well if the first layer sticks. Want a good machine? Get one. The print stick. Um. The uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, the the hotbed doesn't heat up. The hotbed. The bed doesn't heat up. Uh, happy extruder, so that's not an option. Okay, we'll try this again right now. Uh, is the printer open source? I don't think it's open source. I I'm gonna say no. It's not open source. Uh, any plans on getting a Mark II? Shoot, if Prusa wants to send me a Mark II, I would gladly get my hands on a Mark II. I've heard nothing but fantastic things about authentic Prusa machines, and I would love to be able to compare one to all of these kind of clones that I mess with. If you guys want to tell Prusa to send me a machine, I will be thrilled. Okay, so let's try to improve the adhesion surface on here and see what that does exactly. Maybe that's just something you're like you got to use on this machine, unless um. Um, you have to look at your layers. Okay, yeah, so that just gives it... We'll try it like that. We'll see, we'll see if that does the trick. Alright, so let's go ahead. Pop this out. Unplug my headphones one more time. 
That's so weird. When I unplug my headphones, it triggers a commercial on my YouTube video. That's bizarre. Okay, so let's prepare the print. Cool. All right, unplug you. Plug this in. Um, what the heck? Where's my music? Oh, music stops too. There we go. Uh, order the marks with a multi kit, but they said mine won't ship till both orders are ready. Huh? Any ETA? Uh, I fix cell phones and other stuff for a living. Oh, cool. We're both engineers, and my father I have an engineer, and the kind of guy lives in the. Uh, I was worried. <laughs> Plus, I do edit videos, stuff out as well. Awesome. Yeah, you <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying though. You're not like your average Joe doesn't fix cell phones, you know, or have engineer family members. <laughs> I'm talking about like if I, I really just want to make a video where I pick up a kit printer and like have my girlfriend try to assemble it. It would give me such a like I'd be laughing really really hard. Okay, let me go ahead and get um, some rubbing alcohol and wipe it down real quick. One sec, guys. <sighs> I think I have some. I'm just gonna use like a sock. Don't be weirded out by this, <laughs> but I use socks for everything. I've got like an insane amount of socks. So like for cleaning things, for dusting, I use socks. For like wiping up things, I use socks. <laughs> All right, they just work and I always have a bunch of them. I never have like rags. Give it like 30 seconds to dry. And then we're gonna print. And hopefully we're gonna print successfully. Where did I put the SD card? Is this it? Nope. Oh come on, did I really misplace it? I just had it. Oh I put this <laughs> so unorganized. Okay, here it is. Alright. See, don't let us down, Nina. Try it again. I really want to see how this freaking turns out. <laughs> Weirdo. Buy you some rags. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, if the Tiva Little Monster fails after my next build, it will become Table Higgs for my next project. Uh, August for June orders. So June. Oh, okay. So two months. I mean, it's not good, but I've, I've always heard that. Uh, it's been a game of catch-up for authentic pre-orders. And I know that I, he just bought a huge factory. I think they went from, like, 9,000-square-foot facility to 70,000 is what I heard him say, I believe. So um, that's supposed to help greatly with uh, lead time on orders. So uh, I really can't blame you. Use the part for the hypercube. The hypercube looks really cool. I need some freaking rags, man. Yeah, my um one of my old girlfriend's families used socks for cleaning everything. Like getting in between the rails of the stairs in the house. And so after that, I, I thought it was the weirdest thing ever too, but then after a while I was like, huh, I guess socks are kinda useful for that. And I have a bunch of like kind of, I have a lot of shitty socks that have like one hole in them, so it's just perfect. I mean, they're not really good for wearing. Uh, my twist container is 99% almost done. Nice. I haven't printed one of those yet. That'd be a fun print. Just want to extend my tier 10 with the 4040 extrusions. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so cute. <laughs> Uh, you should have cleaned before making the first calibration. Yeah, I mean, there really was nothing on the bed, though. Um, in terms of, like, plastic, it was it was clean. We'll see how this goes. Like, when I did the first initial calibration, 
um, for the video that I showed you guys, there was actually a 3D printed part on the bed, and I didn't even realize it. I, I, I don't know what's going on with me, but I thought it was just like an, like I thought it was part of the design. It went so nicely with it, and I calibrated it, and it was able to print fine. So we'll see. <laughs> Socks for Clayton. <laughs> yeah, Prusa has four floors now. Badass. I wonder if they have a picture of the new Prusa facility. New Prusa, what would you call it? Warehouse? Warehouse, well, Google Warehouse facility. That's hilarious. The first thing that came up, I clicked on, and it's Jacob Prusa. <laughs> Who the hell's that? <laughs> it's completely different. Joseph Prusa New Warehouse. It'll probably help a lot too having the skirt or whatever. You better not fail us, I swear. I don't know, I don't actually see it. What is your Guam? What is that? Is this something I should know? What is your Guam? Guam? Typing? Like words per minute? Is that, is that, uh, what you're asking? My words per minute? Oh my god, that's not very good. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's very good. It, like, okay, so. Right now my keyboard is facing, like, if this is me, it's facing to the left, because when I play Counter-Strike, I have it offset, and it's, uh, that's how I'm used to it, but it's when I'm typing, I can't have it like that. Maybe I should do a typing test. I want to do a typing test, but it's going to be pretty bad. What What's standard? Like, what's, what's good or normal, at least? <laughs> so, pretty cool. Um... Banggood, um, they contacted me, well, they, they sent me the, um, they sent me the laser engraver, and then they were, like, asking me if I wanted to do another, you know, video with them, and I was like, sure. So, I got a, um, Raspberry Pi 3 and a Pi camera, so, um, I'm, my, okay, so the plan is, I'm either going to set up Octoprint with the camera permanently on one of these um, printers, potentially just the Anet A8, um, and I'll make a video on it. I've obviously done Octoprint before and made videos on it, but I've never done it with actually installing a camera and doing time lapses and stuff, which I think would be really, really cool. Um, if not that, then I might do it for Astroprint, which is one that I've actually never done, and then I can compare and contrast like which one I think's, you know, better or not. So those are two like ideas I kind of have for it. I was in school like 30, check recently and I went to 90, damn. Check it out. Huh, I wonder, um, in, re in response to you, Danny, I wonder if they're gonna address that then. I haven't done enough prints to say yeah, yay or nay. I mean, it printed perfectly fine on this, but again, this has a pretty decent, um, contact layer. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna really quick, um, 
do a typing test. So I need 60 seconds. It's, it's going to be so bad. I already know it. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not ready for this. I type so weird too. Okay. Okay. So as soon as you start, oh my God, I don't like this, especially knowing that you guys are looking at, look down. Why am I looking down? Oh my god, I, I miss typing shit. I hate this. I'm so mad that you made me do this right now. I'm not like, I don't know, I'm just not ready to do some quick typing. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, it's even doing punctuation. Fuck. Yeah, this is, I choked bad, dude. I know that no, sometimes I can kill it. Like I type articles up super quick. Right now it says I did 56, that's terrible. I know I can do way better than that. No. That was not fun. I, I'm pretty sure that if I actually was like in my zone, I, I'd be close to 80. Thanks for that mod shop. <laughs> Stress me out. Um, check that modix tango. Whoa, what is this? Damn, they are expensive. But I mean, they do print massively right 60 damn yeah two feet by two feet by two feet it's pretty badass looking and the 3d printing game has really come a long way over the last couple of years uh, i did for a lot of yeah. One to the Delta, thought it was solid, which it is, but hardware is really iffy on quality control. Oh, God, but it was. So far it's sticking. I think we've made uh, more progress than on the first print. What did I do with the first one that failed? Did I throw in the trash? No, it's right here. Hmm. It looks like just when it got to the part that was attempting to do the cube, it choked hard, so. Really curious to see how this is gonna turn out. <clears throat> Uh, the Tango is dual print heads on the same file or separate projects twice as fast. No shit. They use really crap products and boards that don't work. My board broke in the first print. Is this the Tango? No, this is the big. Oh, Tango. All right, let's let's uh we'll check this and then we'll come back to the print. Um. Whoa, okay. Today, robots are all around us. Vacuum cleaners, autonomous cars, and of course, th come on. 3D printers. All right. While robots do different things, they share the same limitation. They work alone. Desktop 3D printers are great machines, but they are very slow. Large scale prints may take days to complete. Modix is proud to present the world's first dual robot 3D printer named Tango. <laughs> Modix 
Space Tango is a revolutionary big 3D printer made of two independent and coordinated 3D printers all in one. Modix Tango Parallel 3D Printer provides you with a new set of capability. You can now print big objects much faster, print two identical or non-identical objects at the same time, and you can even configure each 3D printer with a different Damn. setup or print head. Parallel multi-robot 3D printing is the future of the industry. So if you are looking for a big 3D printer, Modix Tango is the right choice for you. Welcome to the era of the multi-robotic 3D printing. Damn, that is that is pretty crazy. You can have it work on the same project to go twice as quickly or independent projects. That's nuts. <laughs> Head prints left part of a seal and right prints. Has anybody reviewed it on YouTube? Like, uh. <sighs> so it's called the Modix Tango. How do you spell M O D X? <sighs> Tango. Huh, nobody's really reviewed it. Until I actually see it being reviewed, I have like. I have my doubts. <laughs> I mean, it looks kick ass, but you know, until you, I actually see it being reviewed by people that I know are real people and not just the company's promotional video, it's hard to like truly gauge it. It looks extremely promising though. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That, that means it must use some really special slicer, right? That they would create themselves. So otherwise, like you said, you think that they would either bump with each other or there'd, there'd be some kind of like miscommunication. Hey, what's up, Crank? It's been a pretty fun stream today, guys. I've really been enjoying it. It's nice having a stream. Like, I, I gotta say, I gotta do these more often where I'm not necessarily building a printer. <laughs> not that I don't enjoy it, but it's just so much more relaxed for me. A lot less like swearing and frustration god I really want to see how this turns out the the great struggle of 3d printing just waiting in patience look at the x3d xs core xy I think it's a good low cost core XY is it a Kit or just something on a like thingiverse? Oh, come on, I can't highlight. Let's see. Oh, okay, so it is a thingiverse. Whoa, what the heck? All right, I'm gonna share this. Is it stringing? Hey, what's up, Ashton? Um, no. It's not yet, but it's only, it's only, it's just gotten past like the first angle peg and now it's starting to go in a different direction. So it's kind of too soon to say. I, I think it will string because it's strong. It's strong. It did string on this a bit around his jaw, like, um, or yeah. Yeah, it, it strung a bit on his jaw. All right, let's, we'll take a break from the print since it's going to take a long time and let's peep. Let's check this out. It's interesting looking, the fact that it uses so much wood. Not a very large build area. I wish it, does it say the average cost? Uh, LCD screen, NEMA motors. Uh, uses an Xbox power supply. I have like enough parts laying around to build another 3D printer pretty much. I've got smooth rods, I've got spiral or lead screws, uh, I've got belts, motors, plenty of motors and a screen and I think I said electronics. The only thing I really need is like the frame. I do like that this looks like a really easy to cut frame like you can sling and get that at Home Depot.
That looks like my brother's well pump. Who, oh, Ash, whoever disliked it, disliked it before the video even went live. It just, it just happens, man. It's, it's the YouTubes. Let's, let's check this out together. Help YouTube by answering this survey. All right, guys. What is my age? All right, 18 to 24, almost 25. That's all they want to know? Easy. Oh, cool. Okay, so it does have some, it's, I, I didn't realize that. It looks like it probably is CNC milled then. I'd probably make mine look more ghetto since I don't have a CNC mill. I mean, you don't really have to do all that. The design on the sides is that's purely just for the look. Wow, okay, so they drilled like the bracket. Huh, that's interesting how like this part let me see the back. It's just kind of like mounted. It looks like with a screw or two on the back side of the wood. This does look like a super home rigged machine, which I I like. And those are all 3D. Is that, those look 3D printed too. The I wonder how well that works. Oh yeah, and it's Core XY like you said too. That's 3D print. Wow. I like that they, it looks really resourceful in terms of not using unnecessary parts. It doesn't even have a lead screw, huh? It just uses the belt to pull it up and down the smooth, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, this looks, this looks really rad, man. I'm definitely a fan of this. When did it come out? Oh, it's old. I thought this was maybe something brand new. Let's check it out. I always like looking at the makes. That's kind of funny that this dude... Dude, put his face... <laughs> Why? Why? What the point? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> um... There's a printer where you can print the frame. I think I've seen that before too. Let's meet and create a Franken Frank and Tivo stain from failed builds. Dude, I've got so many parts here. Probably get sued from the company for creating something that works. I cannot find the printer that's printing right now. Wait, which printer that's printing right now? You mean the one that I'm using in real life, like in the video, or the one that's on here? All right, I gotta get this guy off of here. It's kind of weirding me out a little bit. Whoa. That turned out so clean. Instead of using tooth belt, I used a threaded screw. That doesn't look like they used wood. It looks like they used some metal or acrylic. Dude, that looks so good. Wow. Neva, oh, dude. Here's the uh, Kickstarter. If you want to look at it, there probably the most information on it in one place. <sighs> yeah, that looks really, really nice. Uh, it's cool. Okay, so a lot of people aren't really using that initial design. I mean, they're using it, but for the frame, it looks like they're just kind of using whatever. This guy uses also, looks like uh, aluminum. I prefer to use, square, yeah, Square 2020. Because I don't have a CNC or laser cutter. So that's cool that you can use that. This is a pretty neat, um, this is a really, I, I, it's, so, it's so simple in, in essence. Yeah, no worries, man. Let's check out, I'll show you guys the progress we're making here. So it's doing the, it's got a little stringing going on. Yeah, it's got some stringing going on. I'm not sure again, whether that's just a retraction setting or whether it just needs better cooling to be able to do stuff like that. Why is my nose always? 
There's never been a video a live stream where I'm not itching my nails like crazy. Why does your link say buy it now on Amazon? Wait. What link? Oh, what the heck? What is that link for? That's weird. It's supposed to be an affiliate link, but it's supposed to point to a specific, um, to a specific printer or something. Huh, that's not it, sorry. It's not on Amazon. Prince to add. <laughs> uh, that aluminum printer looks like the hypercube. Yeah, it kind of does look like the hypercube. Hypercube's cleaner though. Big rep one. The Hypercube. The Hypercube is such a nice design. It's such a nice machine. I wanted to build this. I was debating it. I just didn't have the money. Like, it's, I mean, it's not super expensive, but it's like, it still cost me probably a couple hundred in parts that I don't really need. It's not like I don't have a 3D printer or two, you know? Oh, God. Mostly what I have to buy is really just the aluminum. And I don't really know what all else. <sighs> Fixings. There's quite a lot of shit. Big rep one. Oh man, it's hot. <sighs> Where's the big rep? Wait, do you have a link to it by any chance? I don't see it on Thingiverse. Oh, never mind. It's because it's not a Thingiverse thing. Holy shit. You guys are showing me all sorts of machines that I've never heard of before. Yeah, those are, so in the description, if, I guess if you didn't know, Ashton, they're basically affiliate links, so if anyone clicks on them and then purchases something, I get, um, like a super small percentage, I'm not really sure what the percentage is from Amazon, but it definitely helps the channel out because the Google AdSense doesn't really, doesn't really help much at all. Hmm. I'm curious to see... Let me see, thing very oh, shit. Uh, I just... Yeah, Neva, Neva doesn't actually, they're not even available on their website right now. The only place you can even try to get one is on Kickstarter, but they sold out of like the ones that are the most attractive. They're like 249 and 299. I think the only one they have is like 399 and then 499 now, so. Um, the heck was it? Oh yeah. I'm just curious to see how other people's turned out. I've never really looked. Uh, this is the one I printed. Man, that looks so much nicer than mine already. What layer height did he use? Point two. Uh, but I think he probably printed his full size, so that definitely does have some effect with it. That's probably how this one's gonna turn out. That looks that looks pretty close to how it's turning out. Came out on a
Maybe it'll look a little bit better than that. I think it's gonna look pretty much like that based off of what it's looking like right now. I'm heading out of here. Peace, guys. All right, Cooper. Thanks for hanging out for a while, man. How long have you been streaming for? It's been a minute, right? It's been like an hour or no? Yeah. Oh, shit. We've been here for over an hour. I didn't even realize that. I've been having fun. <laughs> Time, like, uh, right on. Thanks, thanks for hanging out, dude. Have a good Sunday. Um, it would be cool to see you and Jackman do a collab. I've been meaning and wanting to do a clap. I'm probably like the least um, active in terms of collabby, like 3D printing YouTube channel. Everyone else is like collabing and chilling and stuff, and I'm just kind of solo. It's kind of just me as a person, though. I'm pretty like solo. Like, I don't really hang out with too many people other than like my buddy I live with. Or my brother, like that's really it. Pretty, pretty antisocial, which is completely different than when I was younger. I was like everywhere, doing everything, and then I completely. I talk about I talk about this in every stream, but yeah, I need to get better with it. If you got ideas for collabs you'd like to see, then let me know. Um, I'm working on a second printer, larger version of the Prusa. Nice, dude. How far in it are you? Type 3D printer battle wounds in the thingy bursters. Nothing came up. Check out the. Wait, it does come up? What did, how did, why did it not come up for me? Um, check out the fill holder. Oh, this is new. Oh, wait. My first custom design, open source, does it extend Cartesian? The this machine is... Designed around 3D printed parts and it was made to be cut on shade. Non 3D printed parts were so to 2D stones. 2020 and 8mm the printer. Wow, that's large. 150 foot, that's really cheap. This project will certainly take a long time, so bear with me. Until I confirm that there's no longer. Pretty cool looking too. As long as the wood is sturdy enough, you know, for the frame, it is probably is use aluminum. <laughs> Spinner fidget. Oh man. Is this safe for? Safe for YouTube. Wait, I fucked up, huh? Why is it changing the whole... Oh, it's not. Am I... Yeah, I get a 404 on that too. Did they remove it after you just looked at it or something? <laughs> Don't start to the build until he yells it's alive. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't start to build until it's been tested. I mean unless you're cool with just taking ideas from it and then finishing the rest yourself, but I don't know. Those are pretty big parts, aren't they? Unless this Yeah, those are all the wood connector pieces.
Yeah, I do like the use of wood though. It's definitely more. So the wood's easier to get than the aluminum, probably cheaper. I just wish I didn't use aluminum as well, since like by using the wood, I'd be trying to avoid the 2020 extrusions. I don't know if it matters, but the chat is about 15, 20 seconds off for you. I think it's, yeah, I think, I think it's like that on purpose. Maybe I can make it a little less, but <laughs> the robo, that's what you had, right? Mod shop, the robo. All right, let's check it. Oh, here we go. Oh, snap. It's literally, <laughs> it's just a 22 people that post pictures. Holy shit, stitches? Oh, man. How do you get, what do you do that makes you need stitches? Oh, it's a different language. What? I've hurt myself, don't get me wrong. Oh, you know what? It could be the glass bed, I suppose. I've, I've shattered, I've cut myself quite a few times, actually, with the... Uh, with the glass bed. Never stitches, but yeah, I've cut it. <clears throat> All right, Ashton, thanks for hanging out, man. The PS1. I I've cut myself on consoles. Usually there's that thin like sheet metal or whatever, and me being clumsy, like I'll squeeze the console and like the size of it, or size, the sides of the sheet metal will slice it on my finger. That's happened before as well. <sighs> One thing I don't like too is that I wish it, it told you um, how long, uh, how long you print had? Since there's no screen, that's the only downside, and it's not hooked up via USB. I don't know how long this thing's gonna take. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. The chassis on the 360. The, yeah. Okay, so that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. So not the not the metal sheet under the plastic, but the actual thing that holds the board. The, the shit's sharp, man. I turned the fan on high, I turned it off. Why is it so hot? So, if I don't end up chilling for the whole remainder of this print, what I'll do is I'll take a, a couple pictures and I'll post it on Twitter um, when it's done so that way we can see how it all turned out. And then um, I'll make it a goal to find out um, if they have any other, like, uh, do you have any questions you want me to ask them? I'm going to do, uh, obviously, the baud rate. I'm going to find out. Um, I'm going to find out what they plan on adding or doing with the software that's in beta. And then I'm going to potentially ask about if they have any recommendations for uh, first layer adhesion, even though it seems to be working fine with that brim or skirt. But you guys have any other questions you want me to ask them when I talk to them? Oh, shit. Why? I can't type, I swear. I'm gonna post Twitter in the chat. If anybody wants to, um, if you're not following, if you wanna follow, that way you can see the um, pictures when I post them. I'm not the best at social media, but I have been like trying to post things that I'm working on and whatnot um, as of lately. And it's a good way to know whether I'm gonna be streaming and stuff if you don't, if you don't happen to catch it on YouTube beforehand. Find, oh, okay, find out when I'll be able to buy it for two fifty. Okay, let me um one sec here. Let me make like a little Google Docs. Uh go to Google Docs. New Alright, so we'll call it Neva Questions. When will it be available? Oh, got my nose. Available for two fifty retail. What is the baud rate? 
um, plans for software. And then I'll tell me the idea of adding advanced options. Options for more experienced users. And then, was there anything else? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then uh, any tips for bed adhesion. Although, again, it seems like it's working fine now, but I'll still ask. Uh, why the printer is so expensive compared to the Costles? How is how is it expensive compared to the Costles? What does Costles go for? I feel like it's I feel like it's not more expensive. Costle three D printer. I spelled that right. It's not much more expensive than Costles. It looks like Costle kits are anywhere from one hundred and eighty to two hundred and fifty ish. And you have to build them yourself while well, this is assembled. Costle 3D printer assembled. Yeah, they're only 250 bucks, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, the costles aren't cheaper. If you get them in a kit version, then yeah, you can find them for, like I said, 200 bucks, but you gotta build them. This thing you take out of the box, you click calibrate, and you're printing within four minutes. It's got auto bed leveling. So like, watch, we'll check this out too. I'll show you guys like, um, should we try changing up the color? Okay, we're gonna try this just cause you're all here. So you press the button, right? And it pauses it. So now let's pause the print. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see that. And then if you double tap anywhere on the build plate, it'll undo all the filament. Like it'll spit it out. So that way you don't have to do it with your hand. So double tap, just removing all the filament. Okay, now filament's out. I don't know how we can see that, but it pulled itself out. So let me go ahead and change it out to the green they gave us, and we'll try to we'll, we'll try to finish the top of the cube in green just to see how well that functionality works. I've never actually tried it. Give me one sec. Um, It goes nothing. Let me actually um, uh, let me grab the red so that way it doesn't completely unreal itself. But I will say that's a pretty cool, nifty little feature the whole double tap pause thing. Um, and it also has a, it has a uh, filament sensor, which is pretty rad. So, like, let's see, um, for example, I print something pretty often that's pretty large that um, it's something I sell and I have a lot of empty like like uh, I have a lot of white spools of plastic that are nearly gone but not fully gone well it's pretty cool that uh, with this if I wanted to start the big print I can start the print and then when it's nearly running out the machine will sense that the filament hasn't been fed through and it'll pause it until I insert more filament so I have again I have to test out that feature um, just to see how well it works, but it is a feature that the printer has, which is pretty cool. So, we'll see how this goes here. Try not to burn yourself. And then you literally just press the button and it continues. I did 
did tingle the shit out of this moment, though. So that's great. Fuck. Think about just like undoing a decent amount of it, so hopefully it has enough. I feel like this is enough. Well, we'll we'll test out the uh, the end of filament sensor to see if it works. such a rough job on it. I said I thought it was 399, but he says 250. I read 499 somewhere. Careful or you have to post two battles. <laughs> but I love the printer. Early bird. No! Oh, shit. Oh. Man, that is it. That's a big increase. Well, I am sorry about that, guys. I <laughs> I didn't know that. I mean, it does have a lot of features and it is really simple to use, but I did like the cheap price tag. <sighs> it does feel like a $400 printer compared to the cheaper ones that I've been using and building, but that sucks. I was hoping it wasn't more than like 300 bucks and that's what it seemed like maybe they'll change it Yeah, I totally. Ooh, man, that's they gave a hell of a discount. Then that's that's really really cheap compared to what they're gonna be selling it for. Um, Yeah, that filament swap feature is pretty tight. <laughs> I've never really this is this is possibly my first time ever swapping filaments for a print. They did what they did a really cool sample one where they did like a life tower and it looked really awesome. <sighs> did you see the movie Project X? Yeah, I saw it in theaters. Seem to have survived the filament swap test. Dan email for the discount code restream. <laughs> well, hey, can you guys give me a uh, $150 coupon off just for my followers? <laughs> I can see if the deal to do some kind of discount coupon code thing. Um, I'm sure it's probably too early right now, but once like the Kickstarter is done at least. Hey, what's up, Candy? You made it, dude. A little late, but I know you said you had stuff to do. I've been good, man. Um, I was supposed to get up early. I didn't. I got up at, like, noon, and then I ordered my textbooks I need because I started class uh, summer courses in, in about... 
less than two weeks. So, um, so yeah, I did that and then got ready for the stream. I set up some stuff. Um, it's supposed to pop up now. Like if someone subscribes while I'm streaming or donates me like that, it pops up. Um, the super chat pop up definitely works. We had mod uh, mod shop try that. Thank you. Um, so that was cool. I was pretty happy, like just trying to do little tweaks and stuff like that for the stream. Cause that was what I liked when I was streaming on Twitch, is I had like a decent amount of just like little bonuses. I want to get the night bot set up too. That's like next on here. <clears throat> Paulo says it's fast. It does feel pretty fast. I have no idea what speed it's printing at. Um, it probably should be slowed down a bit more for this stress test cube to get better quality. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what, I, I don't, uh, does it say, I haven't seen, like, in the tech specs, um, I haven't seen what its capabilities are, um, I'm not even sure if it says, to be honest with you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tap, tap, extruder, beautiful design, amazing print quality, uh, Oh, okay. Uh, 80 millimeters a second. That's what it, what it, I think that's what it's printing. It says up to uh, 200, from 200 up to 100 microns. We're printing at 200 microns right now. Uh, I'm taking summer classes too, one more year. Damn, dude, I'm so jealous. <laughs> that's awesome though that you only got one year left yeah I, I, I think I talked about it but I got my associates and then I am going uh, back to school for my bachelor's now um, and I, I was trying to just transfer directly into a, like a Cal State and um, I couldn't because I need more prereqs like I even though I have my two year I still need more prereqs um, because I'm going for engineering, I need quite a lot more prereqs, so I've got about one more year, and then I could transfer, and then I'll have two more years, so. When it's all done, it'll be worth it, but. Uh, Strike says, bye guys. Alright, Strike, thanks for hanging out for as long as you did, man. Have a good Sunday, I had a lot of fun, I've had a lot of fun, still having fun. It's been great. Try to figure out what I'm gonna do for, for food here in a bit, I might have to make a Mickey D's run. <laughs> We'll see. This this freaking um this Chonksy is still on my desk, Kenny. I have not touched it since the last time I streamed with you guys. I just have not been in the mood. I've been busy. I've I've really have been. I've been doing YouTube videos and posting a lot of stuff on my my three D printing blog and things like that. So it's not like I haven't been doing anything. I just haven't been in the mood to calibrate or troubleshoot. But it'll happen very soon. Hopefully. I want it to be done before school starts in a week and a half, so I really need to just figure out what the hell's going on with it. At least it's built, though. That's, like, most of the more tedious part. Mm -mm -mm. My sister just has three masters, and every Christmas I'm superheating her lungs. Superheating? What is superheating? Well, two for bachelors, one for associates. I took more than the usual amount of classes at my community college, so less expensive university. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what I'm doing. That's why I've, I've only been at a community college. Oh, I'm super chatting. I love this. It's funny. Wait, she does YouTube? Is that what you're saying? You, you, you're donating back for her to help her pay her loans? <laughs> um... Well, two for the bad. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I saw that. Unfinished. You've been busy. Three vids, one week, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I have been pretty busy, man. I've been doing that. I've been doing just kind of cleaning up stuff around here. Um, selling stuff on eBay. My buddy has like a bunch of old computer parts that he asked me to sell to split like whatever we get, which is cool. It's all going to him though. He's my landlord slash best friend. <laughs> so, I um. I'm just helping give him rent and then getting things set up for school. Um, 
and just messing around, man, playing with these printers and stuff. It feels like it. <laughs> yeah, so I was just kind of trying to lay low. Last week was my dad's birthday, too, so that was a lot of fun. We went up to um, me and my girlfriend, my brother and his girlfriend, we went up to my parents' cabin, and we went on a hike. Um, uh, I've gone on this hike a bunch of times before, but I got, like, super fucked up. And um, when I say super fucked up, like, I don't mean I was, like, drinking and stuff. I mean that the hike owned my life. Um, I was walking barefoot. My toe is still healing. Um, I was walking barefoot for the whole time, which I almost always do. And granted, it, it does kind of hurt my feet after a while because it's, it's rocks and sand and rocks and stuff. But it was hotter than normal, um, the ground. So it was, like, even eating away at my feet even more. And then when we got about an hour and a half into the hike... All of a sudden, I like I noticed that I was kind of limping. Like I couldn't put a lot of weight down on my left foot, and um, so I, I kind of thought that maybe I just had. It felt like I, maybe I had some rocks stuck uh, to like my skin of my foot, and so every step I was taking, it was just pushing them further in. So I looked at my foot, and there was just like a huge open wound on my foot. So, um, and so yeah, I like combination burned uh, and blistered my foot really bad. <laughs> And, um, so my brother had like a bandage and he put a bandage on my foot and I kind of had to like limp to our destination. And then luckily my dad wasn't stupid and he actually brought, um, he actually brought shoes so on the way back. I was able to steal my dad's, my dad's old man shoes, but I love hiking barefoot, man. Um, it just like goes with the outdoors part of it. And it's like, we're hiking up along a, uh, river. So I like to go kind of like half in the river, half out of the river but I just think it was hotter than normal, and we went further than more, uh, further than normal. So it kicked my ass. But I'm pretty sure my mom watched. Let me see. I'll show you a picture from the hike. It's beautiful. Um, if I can find it. One sec. Yeah, my family's big outdoors. Um, people my mom grew up on like a farm in sweden and my dad just kind of became naturey or outdoorsy because of my mom how come i can't see oh here we go hold on take like a couple screenshots hopefully the music's not too much for you guys it's so nice having some music playing in the background for me to at least hear like even if it's really light this real quick mm -mm. Uh, hikes, uh, got content in the can now I have one video on 3d print safety and one video on an Ikea black table I think it meant hack table conversion with temp and humidity monitoring plus remote kill switch that's fucking tight I need to see that ooh Am I not subscribed to you? If I'm not, I'm going to subscribe to you right now. That's badass, dude. I've seen a lot of the IKEA hack uh, tables. I actually have my 3D printer. Um, I... One sec, guys. I'm trying to multitask here. I'm not good at that. Um, uh, that's what I have mine on is an IKEA table right now. How come I can't find you? Is that... Happy Extruder. Let's see if I go under... Oh, channel. How do you not come up? I 
I personally can't hear it. Oh, wow. I did make it low. I want to make it low because it's like kind of like it's techno. It's like glitch hop and like all sorts of pretty sort of heaviest techno. And so I didn't want it to be really loud because I know a lot of people couldn't care less for that. It's just that <clears throat> I only want to use royalty free music because otherwise YouTube will arrest me. And um, I, the producer of this uh, music allows you to use it for whatever on YouTube. So. What was I going to show you guys? Oh, I was going to show you guys my hike stuff. Hold on, guys. There you go. Alright, so. Desktop. So this is like, they're not very large because they're from Instagram, but this is like the water hole that we hiked to. My brother was playing football with my dad. I was sitting on the beach with my jacked up ass foot. <laughs> And then this is another little, it's pretty much like the terrain you're hiking in. Um, there's a lot of like rocks on the side that like, my parents try to do like 85 to 90% not in the water um, just because the water, I guess you can hurt yourself probably more easy. It's, it's slipperier. There's a lot of like mossy rocks and shit. And then this is like how kind of, it's not really a trail either. It's kind of a trail. Like on here, it looks like a trail, but the further you get in, it's there's no more trail. It's just kind of like made by people that have hiked back there, but it's kind of the terrain. It's dirt and piney, sort of ish trees and stuff, but yeah, it's really pretty. And there's no end to it, really. Like, I mean, there is at some point, but we've never hit the end of it. I don't know how far back it goes. It's pretty crazy. It goes back really far. I feel like we're getting pretty close to um, this cube being done here. Maybe not. Though I will say though that the color exchange worked very well. The cube didn't turn out all that great. I'm not gonna lie. Like, um, I think the the attraction settings need to be better. Maybe it needs to be printing a little bit slower. And I think that a layer cooling fan would probably help since it is PLA. But it should be interesting to print this on all my printers, see which one actually performs the best. I feel like the Annette A8 would probably print this the best. <sighs> I think I might call it, guys. I think I'm gonna go grab some food. We streamed? I wasn't really sure how long we were gonna stream for, and we did stream for just short, two hours. We short streamed for two hours, so versus making an all day event out of it, I think I'm gonna go grab some food and kind of chill, maybe do a couple more things here. If I get a chance, I'd really like to work on the X3 today. Um, so, um, yeah, I might, I might do that. It'd be cool if I can get that going today. <sighs> uh, I'm still planning on getting the mini printer you're talking about, unless uh, you think there's something better. I, I still, st I still think that the mini is is a kick-ass printer, man. Honestly, like if you want something that's just simple and as long as the build volume isn't uh, too small, I, I do think that it's kick-ass, and the price is. I'll be honest. Uh, um, the price is two fifty now. They raise it up a bit. I'm bummed. I'm sorry, my shop dude, about the price, dude. That sucks, man. If I had known about, if they'd sent me this like beforehand when they first were launching a Kickstarter, I would have for sure been like, yeah, dude, hop on this at you know two hundred fifty bucks. Four hundred's more. Like it's like ah, four hundred bucks. I still, I still want to say I do think it's probably worth four hundred bucks in comparison to again. I know there's like at four hundred bucks. There's a lot more printers that you can get. Um, I'm more thinking for just someone that wants something that's ready to work, you know, like not even, I know the CR 10, um, is, is a great option. Um, and that there's some assembly 
but for someone that doesn't want any assembly, it's probably a really good option. But yeah, I'm sad that it's not the price I thought it was. Um, uh, but yeah, Ke um, Kenny, sorry, Just brains all over. Uh, I do still think that the mini is a great option. Um, there's actually that guy, Tech Nerd, that um, I think he's been in here before and like he said he doesn't like his. He's selling his for like 200 bucks, I think, which is $50 less if you're interested. But honestly, if his isn't working that great, I don't know if I'd go with that. I'd probably just buy one directly from either Monoprice or Amazon and, you know, hope you get one that works fine. And again, it has a two-year warranty. Yeah, okay. Buy it from Direct. That way, um, there's a two-year warranty on it and you can, you know, guarantee that you'll at least, if something goes wrong, <laughs> they'll take care of it for you. Just for peace of mind. Uh, Happy Shooter says, have a good meal. I'm going to edit some more. We'll send you a message when it's all right. Okay, yeah, that sounds good, man. Do it. I I'd really like to see it. I I like seeing the... There's some crazy cool enclosures I've seen people make with the Ikea tables and, like, acrylic and things like that. So that'd be fun. Fun to have. Uh, or fun to see, at least. So, All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys all. You guys rock. Thank you for coming and hanging out. We hit 20,000 subscribers, which is kick-ass. Thank you so much, Mod Shop, as well, again, for the donation, dude. Um, and, yeah, I... Um, will all the information that i find out about this machine will probably go in the final review video um they'll also be on the website 3d print love so if you want to find out um uh mod shop about that again i know it's more expensive now so i don't know if you're still interested but i'll at least still find out all those details and um yeah well, i'll try to do a stream if i get this machine the x3 actually printing decently we'll do another chill stream like this where i'll move this printer up into the shelf and I'll put the X3 there and we'll just print something and hang out and stuff like that, man. So, um, I, I really enjoy that, especially this, maybe in the next week here before I start school up and I'm stressed out of my mind again, <laughs> but, um, all right. Um, uh, I will, and I'll make a video about it. Cause why not? Yeah, dude, make a video on it. I I'd like to see it. I, I haven't even watched a single video on the new, uh, mini. So that'd be really cool. Congrats on 20k! I almost forgot. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I'm I'm hyped. That's it's a it's a pretty big milestone, dude. Like for me, it's just I'm like, oh, yeah, 20k officially. It's so cool. So, all right, guys, take care, man. Have a good have a good rest of your weekend, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next live stream. I'm sure. Peace.